We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. Let's jump right into it, man. Diddy, man. Think he's done. Diddy is. I, I, he has been done, man. But I think that. <laughs> well, he he's been cooking. He's been done. He's been cooking. He's been. The steak uh, is well done at this point. <laughs> I think, yeah, but I think it's just the nail in the coffin is, is, is uh, what they call it. Call it. Hey, before we continue, guys, remember to rate the show by pressing the like button and follow us on all social media and press on that subscribe button down below. Yes. Yeah, man. Diddy, it's a wrap. Let's start right away. If for those who haven't seen the video, um, if you came out of the cave, out of your hi hibernation uh, cave, um, we're not going to show the video, by the way. We're definitely not going to do that because I know a couple of people who showed the video and got age restricted. Yeah. The next one. Yeah, it's not surprising, though. We're only going to show the frame. Well, this is the frame. This, this is the only thing you're going to get from us. If you're going to, you want to watch the full video, please search it on YouTube, which could be age verified. Or X. And also search it on X. Not to be mistaken by any. X-rated website. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Did you watch the video? Yeah, I watched the video. It was a sad. It was very disappointing and sad to see. Actually, what I think, however, is that we've already known that this has been going on. I think Cassie also spoke about it in the loss which she filed. Uh, maybe we'll discuss that in a bit, but. It's, I mean, and it's not the first time we heard stories about the diddler doing diddler things like physical, uh, yeah, altercations. And, and yeah, it's, it's, but at the same time, I understand to see it, it's still a shock. Shock. It's a shock. It's shocking, but it's, we've known about this, is what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if, if you think about it, right, the, the, the like you said, there, there have been, a lot of stories of him um, slapping people. I mean, the Dittler slapped the Drizzler. <laughs> that's the <laughs> the BBL Drizzler. <laughs> yeah. Well, that sounds that sounds no, don't, don't put the BBL in front of that. That sounds crazy. Yeah. That's what that sounds like someone wait, someone wait, wait, who's wait. doing the work, man. No, no, BBL no, no, no. Drizzler sounds crazy, man. What the heck? Wait, wait. What sounds crazier? What sounds crazier? Diddy hitting the BBL Drizzler. Oh man. Or pause. Or pause. well, which which one deserves a, a bigger pause? Pause. Or Diddy hitting <laughs> the Drizzler's BBL. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Yo, the show is already off the rails. We're only three minutes in, man. Come on, bro. What the heck? Hey, man. Hey, I just hope. Oh, I just, man. I just hope for 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 Drake fans that I mean, and we're gonna talk about Drake later on this show. But I hope for Drake fans that this is not the end of their uh, idol because we we might see a couple of people do the some sipiku. Uh, at the end of the road. But uh, yeah, man, um, Diddy has been, um, I mean, he's been in a lot of, a, a lot of uh, uh, violent situations, uh, hitting, hitting, uh, uh, what would say, the Drizzler. Uh, Drake in, in, in the club, he was, he slapped uh, his, his son's former football coach. Or this with a kettlebell. Yeah, are these confirmed or are they still allegedly? Did they allegedly happen? Is what I mean. Well, well, if it, I don't think that if, uh, if no, that's uh, what's being reported in any case. Uh, let's put it this way: if, if and this is not how uh, this is now a mesh, this is not the right measuring stick. But if Kendrick Lamar says in his diss track, we know what I'm gonna is the I'm, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna measuring stick. Pause. Pause. Kendrick said in his diss track 
um, I'm gonna call Puff and see whether Chop is up on something, something like that. He says. So, I think uh, I think the part of Diddy slapping slapping Drake <clears throat> in the club is true, and the fight with the with the with the coach was also confirmed, and he's he fought with kettlebells. So. Yeah. Uh, but the, the 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 but to go back to the the video that 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 they released yesterday, it's the 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 crazy part is not only the the whole setup, right? Because if you think about it, he ran. So we we can do a play by play. Um, what with the video basically what you get is you see so all of a sudden you see a guy with a um, with a towel around his waist running no, through it, the hall. It no, it starts with a female. In a black hoodie, or at least okay, yeah, dark you see hoodie. him walking through the hall, yeah, walking, but like it's weird. It's not like when you're at a hotel, you're usually relaxed, right? So you don't, and and it's not like she, she was walking as if she was she was on a in a rush to go someplace. It no, was more like it didn't seem like that. She was a. It, it seemed weird. You could you could see it. You can see it. Simply because uh, it didn't have any audio. At least I didn't listen to any audio. It didn't but, have any audio. No, it didn't, didn't have, have any, any audio. audio. Yeah. And then so you see, you see yeah. a man in a towel. I see in a towel chasing. Well, it starts. It doesn't start that way, by the way. It starts with with him chasing. Okay. And then you I see start. her. They switch the camera to her walking towards the. Oh no! My bad. I think they cut this one up. They cut this one up, but. He runs to the hall towards the the elevators. Yeah. Grabs the female by the by the back of her hoodie. Throws her to the ground. And the the, the most shocking part is there was no hesitation between the moment he threw her to the ground and started kicking. There was no there was no pause. It was a fluid motion. The fluid motion you usually do when you're trying to beat up a man. You, okay, so with flu okay, so what you mean to say is when okay, what you mean to say is when he threw her, he didn't and, and she landed on the ground. He didn't hesitate, is what you're saying. No hesitate. It was fluid. He threw her and went immediately for the submission. Yes. Well, in this case, well, the so KO. it's not submission. He went in for the miss. The, in this case, it was the KO. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it would have been KO. It wasn't a kick. Yeah. Well, it was a kick. It seems like a kick to the ass. Well, two things because there were two kicks actually. Yeah, there were two kicks. Yeah, the one, the, the one, first kick was more like one, a soccer kick, right? Yeah, the, the first the, kick the was like a soccer. One kick. was more like a soccer kick, where where he basically kind of kicked her either to her back or the, her her bottom. Yeah. Not her head. Not her head. Not her head. No. But, but but at at that fluid motion, I wouldn't surprise if this guy has tried to kick her on her head and before because there is no there is no moment where he there, there is no hesitation in the whole. That's the craziest thing about this because usually when even when you're beating up a man, right? You I mean unless you are full of emotions, there is a pause moment. Like should I kick him or should I not? I think no, I don't think so. I think well, maybe I, I'm a moment, much too much of a thinker. Maybe what I <laughs> so for first the two kicks, the second kick, the second kick because after he threw her to the ground, he gave her one kick and then he gave her a second kick. The second kick no, was uh, was more like a, tr a, a, uh, a push. Not a push. Yeah, well, a kick push. It was a yeah. push. Yes, yes, a kick that, push. A kick push or a... yeah. And then he grabbed her. And then he grabbed her, yeah. And dragged her back into the, the hall. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. But to your remark about him hesitate, hesitating, the hesitation, there's always a moment where, where you hesitate, right? A, Once choice, this, a moment of going left yeah, a moment of choice. Right. Yeah, yeah, a moment of choice. So when, but once you are, so there's a line. Once you pass that line, 
you've already in your mind um, made a decision that you will engage. So I'm sounding like a seal right now. <laughs> Throughout engage. the way he treated her, was like she 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 was a, like, like he was like a she, seal, and that she, like was, she was a seal ops. as well. <laughs> no, like she was the ops. But when you when you the way he ran, so from the way he we could see him run through the hall, full speed, full speed. It's clear that in his, yeah, it's clear to me that yeah. in his, he already made a choice. He then. made the choice before right, he yeah, put the yeah, towel yeah, on. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. He you're right. The, the way he ran, he ran it, it, it was the, 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 it's a full speed run. Yeah, there is no, there run, is yeah. no. Yeah. And it's, and, it's like, and, it's like when, when police are running after you, that's a full speed run. Like DL, like DL Ugly said, <laughs> the police, pow, pow, freeze. <laughs> well, uh, I think a lot of people are wishing that on them, on them right now. Damn. But there's one more point I want to make uh, relating to that. When you look at that motion care, at least not the motion, the whole incident, right? I think it's... Mm -hmm. It took about a minute, maybe less. Yeah, two minutes. About one two and a half to two minutes. Okay, so two minutes. KR. It, it seemed to me, or at least it made me think of all the National Geographic documentaries and series I saw. How about animals? Yes. When a predator has a prey, right? And puts the prey in its nest, and then the prey tries to leave. It's simply mm. like, oh, no, you're not going there. Come back. Where here. are you going? Come back. I, I don't know if you've ever seen a, a dog with a with uh let's say when a dog i mean we don't have to go to national geographic if you have a dog and the dog has a has a prey it can be like a whatever a lizard whatever uh, uh and the lizard tries to walk tries to escape because usually what happens when the dog has a lizard the lizard freezes it's like a psychological game they play right they don't oftentimes they don't eat them or unalive them entirely in one take. First, mm -hmm. they want to have it here. They want to have it in their dominion. As soon as the prey wants to start to leave, boop, nope, you're not going there. Come back here. And that's what it seemed to me like. Like, nope, you're coming you're back. Not going. You're, you're going. not going anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. yeah man. That's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And, and, and to think that... Uh, do you remember when... After the after they settled, they released a statement where Daddy is basically saying this is not true. People are attacking my character, and time will tell, and I will prove that I'm innocent. Well, yeah, I guess I guess that's that's that has reached his end here because I think no one will believe him after this. And the funny thing is he's been posting the whole week a bunch of stuff. Did he? he posted, did he? Yes, yes, on his Instagram. Like stuff like this. Time tells truth. Yeah. Time tells truth. He also shared a picture of him with his kids. Probably his last picture with his kids in Freedom. Did he tell the kids that daddy's time is coming? Was this? He knew. Did he know that it was this was the end? The crazy thing is he he dropped a a classic meme. I don't know if you remember this one. Let me share this. Do you remember this meme? Don't a nigga. 
I don't why? understand why you hate on me, nigga. We don't understand. Show love, nigga. It don't show nothing. It don't cost nothing to show a nigga love, Are we doing nigga. this getting money? Show a nigga some love, nigga. Wabbledy dabbledy. Niggas out here don't love me, nigga. They don't love. You hate on a nigga. Why? I don't understand why you hate on me, nigga. We don't understand. Show love, nigga. It don't show nothing. It don't cost nothing to show the a nigga. The crazy thing is, I can already imagine how he, he really talks like this. Yeah. Hey man, but Let, this is, let's. This is this is huh? typical PR. No, just my final thoughts on the picture. What that you just showed. This is typical PR. A, a PR move. You always see when people are going, are are going through a rough time. Either someone disappears, so an artist disappears, or they start because they know that people will flood to your account so if you have like an ig page or whatever twitter and they will like post unapologetically like nothing is going on all the positive things and try to love um, what's what 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 what's the term women use it a lot gaslighting <laughs> Try to gaslight the pro Look at him play like try, he didn't know the try to gaslight. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's gaslighting everyone. He's gaslighting everyone. He's gaslighting. been gaslighting everyone. Yeah. But not uh, uh, some people were well, some people believed him. Do you remember Slim Talk? He said it was all something money about grab. He said some, yeah, I said something about cash, right? Yeah, so when 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 it all happened, when the settlement happened, this is what he had to say. Getting Bill Cosby coming back and getting puffed. I don't believe in that, man. When shit go down, speak on that shit right then or it's out of there. It should be null and void. You shouldn't even have no type of nothing. You should be you shouldn't be able to do shit unless you must let the people know what happened immediately. It should be a time limit on this shit. What happened was you was trying to, you got around them up, stand up on love shit. This is what happened. I'm going to tell you what always happened, right? You was with a billionaire with all this bread all this time. And then you went, followed your heart to with a trainer. That motherfucker apartment got smiled in the bitch. That lifestyle fell off. Now it's struggle time. So we got the, we, we got the cl clear where he was going. And after the video, let me go to reactions. He said this. Damn, Diddy. I tried to ride with the black man who had no charges yet, but I can't stand behind this. I'll take this L. But I still will ride with my people until I see some sort of proof. I don't believe in blogs or civil suits. Apologies to Cassie and whoever else was on the right side this time. Or, is that an apology? Such a backhanded apology. It's like he says, I take this L. But I still don't believe it. Apologies to Cassie. And other other people that were right. This time. This is crazy, man. This doesn't seem like a real apology to me but okay well here's what it is even 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 whack 100 had a uh, thing or two to say shout out to whack listen um yesterday i told all the homies i was gonna stay out of everybody's business you know what i'm saying i lied <laughs> did he did he i just seen that video you was a bitch ass nigga. And I hope. Take that, take that, take that. I hope. <laughs> if whatever happens to you, happens to you. Huh? I hope Big Freddy and Debo Eddie strap your ass down in a penitentiary Betty. And I hope don't nobody come help your motherfucking ass, nigga. That shit. Listen, you was a bitch ass nigga. The thing nigga. is, the thing is, you're wishing that, you, that, that. That's the worst wish for a. Uh, for for a let's call it a straight man. You wish us that too. 
That's maybe he really wishes that. So you can't even wish that up on him. That might be a, that might be a, that's a that's a regular daddy party right there. That's a Tuesday. <laughs> the daddy that's house. a Tuesday of the freak off, man. <laughs> but we all get what what he's trying to say. What he's trying to say, man. I was the, drink, the, I was drinking water and then I saw that there was a brand. And I took it off. I ripped it off. Oh, it's pay, pay, pay us. Pay us. Yeah. Before we show you. No, but uh, uh, Alex Fine, which is current, the current husband of Cassie, released a, 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 let's call it a letter to all women and children. Basically, he said that um women and children need to be protected and um i'm not gonna read it because it's gonna take some time basically you can find it also on his uh, instagram but it's it's a it's a it's a good piece i mean if if you if you know the past of your wife which has been i mean it's clear that that in what situation she has been i think it's very very good to 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 raise that awareness and then he also puts the 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 number people can call in case of uh, domestic uh, dv dv situation um the crazy part is and and then we can uh, we can we can further in, talk about this the last video i want to show is the one with perez hilton because i don't know if you recall when we when he covered this story back last year one one of the things that that the the lawsuit said was this exact video he paid 50k for I don't know if you recall that it's it, yeah. it said that in the uh, in the um, in the complaint in the complaint yeah yeah who do you think released this or leaked this oh I like this because uh, there the, the are, the are a couple of options I'm, I'll, I'll give you a couple of options. You have, let's start with the hotel. They got, they got their 50K, but they think I'm going to write, going to write on daddy's ass, pause. We're going to re release this. I don't think it's the hotel, but option one is the hotel. Option two is an ex-employee, a disgruntled empl employee. Mm -hmm. Who recorded or, or made a dub? Recorded and, and sold it to CNN. Option number three. The Alphabet Boys. And I'm not talking about the, 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 the Alphabet crew. The pink That's a different. The, yeah, not the pink-haired no, not Not, 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 not the ones with the flag. The <laughs> ones in uniform. Have, <laughs> the ones that you well, 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 the, well, well, I don't know about the uniform part because if I not remember, there is a song. The ones YMCA, in... YMCA have a bunch of dudes in, in in uniform in it. So I don't know. I'm talking about the ones with a badge. <laughs> and or or any other person. Who do you think released this? Who leaked this? I don't think, by the way, first of all, while you're thinking, I don't think I, CNN will reveal hit their source. Of course they, they won't. won't do that. Of course they won't. Of course they won't. Of course they won't. Of course they won't. I'll say this. The obvious choice is the Alphabet Boys because they did the raids like a month or two ago. Got everything. They got everything. So We I, saw the I, videos. I we saw the videos. Also. Yeah. We saw the video. I mean... No video has leaked in all these years. And now you're telling me that... Out, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. A lucky Friday. But on the other end, it can also be... The people that, that did it paid off. Mm. I think that's still allegedly because Cassie said it. and But yeah. you don't know... So it's allegedly paid off. Huh? 
because there's no uh, knowing that the alphabet boys are the easy target. Everyone will think that they did it. So mm -hmm. now would be the great time to leak it and then earn money twice. Oh, that's that's what we one. call compound and compound interest. Or double whammy. <laughs> Depending on who you what side you're on. Double whammy. Yeah. Anyway, it, 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 that could be also a thing, right? Earn the money, get your 50k, but then it's the management probably. Yeah. And then turn around and earn again of another 100 k from CNN. Yeah. Or it could be, like you said, could also be the alphabet boys who are softening the case. Just making sure that the guy the feds have a 99% conviction rate. Uh, they won't when they step into the court, whether it's basketball or a legal court, you're gonna get washed 99% of the time. The third... What better way to do it than to maybe you don't have a lot of evidence you didn't get a lot of things but you you release this so just so you, about to say that i was just about to say you that. release this you, you you soft them in a little bit because it, if this is true what are the other things but you don't have proof but you have to give them something i mean the 99 rate you you know imagine the diddler beating the feds I'll say this though. People in the business and people close to the industry unmistakenly, or at least undoubtedly, knew about Diddy. Undoubtedly. Yeah. They haven't it's, spoken it's, in yeah. they've never spoken. No one way. or two occasionally, one or two occasionally. Why? Because they were afraid of Diddy's influence and power. Yep. Now that that has, I mean, it's almost done with him. People are talking more and more and more. So what if, KR, this is a way to stimulate people to talk more. So Got people were talking. A lot of things were being said. This, diddy, this, diddy, that. What happens now that a video drop? How many more stories will we hear now? And according oh, to the great truth, <laughs> the truth, <laughs> truth teller, the truth teller, <laughs> Former bodyguard, let me guess. Or what are you talking about, cat? I'm talking about cat. By okay. the way, I saw on an interview, uh, and I think everyone should go check that out as well. Cat uh, Williams interview on what's the famous? Was the famous the late the. The CNN, it was a reporter with glasses, very CNN reporter. And then he had his own show at one point. Ah, he was a legendary legend. Anyways, he said that he was clairvoyant as well. He has that gift. What if, Gayar? No, not what if. On Club Shay Shay, he said that. 2024 is the year that everything will get exposed. Nothing will remain. So uh, all those big D de deviants will be exposed. Are you talking about Larry King? Larry King, yeah, Larry King. Okay. That's where he said. That's is, where Kat said. That's it, where Kat. Larry King left already the Is Larry King still alive? No, right? He he passed away 2021. So that's why I said he was. I okay. said he was. No, he was can also be he's been has hasn't been employed by them since, but okay. No, I said he yeah. I said he, I think I think I said he was a great reporter, but 
well, maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah anyway yeah that's not i don't it's not the, not the point. We're quite, we're going in on Diddy right now. Let, let, let's let's uh, You are. Diddy. You are. Pause, you are. Pause, you are. You are. I'm pause, not. You pause, are. I'm pause, not. Pause. You are. I'm uh, not. Let's not dig up but, Larry King out of his grave. No, no. But what? I'm, no, I'm saying that on Larry King during Larry King during on a Larry King interview, interview Cat Williams yeah. said it. An inter an interview of years ago, of course. But in any case, and he says a thought. Clairvoyant. Mm. And. Um, he said, "Doesn't matter if it's so." Cat Williams said, "It's it's over for these big the deviant deviants. Doesn't matter if it's Diddy or T.D. Jakes." <laughs> T.D. Jakes came out and said that nothing happened. So if nothing happened, then you know, but. I think by the end of 20 by the end of 2024 Cat Williams might have the same um conviction rate as the feds. <laughs> <laughs> it might be 3% off maybe. We might be 3% but, off but I think I think so that this is the thing and I uh, when we covered that interview he did with Shannon I I said that um it's clear that I've, I've heard these stories in the past from other people about him gathering information. He buys information from people. So if he knows some, if he if he says something, he knows it. It's not like some 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 of these blogs out here speculating. So it wouldn't surprise me if if he knows a thing or two about the great reverend. Um, uh, or or maybe a booty clapper. I don't know what he is. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hey, a legend, a legend. Maybe it's too late for that one. But uh. what we do know, Kr, is that so two things, right? We should always watch out with the two extremes. On the yeah. one hand, we need to watch out. We shouldn't convict someone or, you know, guilty until proven innocent. And, but on the other, <laughs> but on the other hand, you shouldn't believe someone until proven wrong either. Right? Yeah. So you should always say, stay skeptical. You weren't there. How would you know? Well, that's what, uh, some people said about this situation as well, but you can see patterns. Think I think a lot of times you can see patterns in people's way of doing things, the way their the character, which their can confirm certain things. Not saying that a pattern can confirm everything, but if someone has a problem, a continuous problem with anger. It's not out of the realm that that anger can spill over at, at different situ situations. But anyway, um, we we initially we wanted to cover um, Diddy, but not about this actually because we wanted to cover the 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 pick aside this track. But I guess everyone has picked a side now. King Combs dropped the dropped the diss track last week. Pick a side. He but was he was he maybe predicting that people would I, pick a side? I picked the God side, <laughs> not the other side. Not not the big big deviants. <laughs> They're going down. Hey man, hey, then he took pictures with family. Uh, uh, Stevie J was out here showing his biceps to the to the track. Um, yo, Stevie J. I don't know. Stevie J is like a fifty year old with a with a fifteen. 50 50 five zero year old man with a 15 year old mentality i don't know what is wrong with that guy but uh i i, I wonder whether he will stay and still say his 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 friend didn't do anything will sound like would sound like um something something Steve would, J would do yeah hey man let's uh, let's close this topic hey let's go next to the to the to well the Reddit story, RJ. You have a Reddit story for us today. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a... <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget about the Reddit story. Yes. I wasn't ready for the I wasn't ready for the Reddit story. I was in the deal. You weren't ready for it? Well, no. wh- while we, while he's preparing for the Reddit story, guys, just remember to press on that like button. We really would appreciate you liking this video, rating it, and also let us know in the comments what you think about this whole Diddy bonanza. Is he done? Do we have to crucify him? Do we have to send them into space to see whether there is someone living on Mars. Yeah. Or so yeah. don't forget uh, and don't forget to follow us on all social media and also subscribe on our YouTube channel. Guys, thank you for those those who have subscribed last week. Welcome to the club. RJ. Yes, yes. Yes, welcome to the club. Guys, as you know, in the Reddit segment, it's like a short transition before between topics where I discuss noteworthy a noteworthy story of the week for me that I dis- that I discovered on Reddit. This in this segment in today's edition of the Reddit segment, KR. I have a question to you before I show you the banner. What should someone do? What should a mother, the mother of a daughter do if the mother's boyfriend is attracted to her, to the daughter? How old is the daughter? Old people, old people. So we're talking about the 23-year-old daughter. So the the daughter is 23. How old is the man? Uh, The man is... 63 and the woman is 55 and also it's important to note also also important to note that they ha- they're they're married so the it's not the boyfriend it's like the second husband and uh, so the, and the stepdad oh it's the stepdad and <laughs> and well i wasn't expecting it to be the dad so and the, <laughs> because that is would have that would have shut down this this rather yeah. story right away. And one more comment: the daughters is still living at home with the mom. Well, well, it, it, it's 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 a no brainer. It's a no brainer. The, the 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 mom, the mom, uh, they are married. By the way, you said right? They are, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and they are attracted to each other. Uh, is it the the um it's not a what's the what is it called usually when 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 the daughter starts fighting for the attention of the man in the house versus the mom it's not epidemic complex it's the other one no. anyway yeah, yeah, she's done. Yeah. Yeah, there, so me, no okay so this is it very it's very very short and of course this is an a ada so am i the a-hole <clears throat> the stepdad is attracted to adult stepdaughter. I'm going to say that because you know how this can be interpreted. My 23-year-old daughter and I have a complicated relationship. She has been diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder. She Is that what you were looking for? <laughs> is that the contradiction to no, the epidemic? No. Co- okay. <laughs> she, she has a lot of trauma from watching me and my husband's horrible marriage go down and was bullied in school. When she told me she was being bullied by peers, my view that all children are innocent really tied my hands because I told her that if I said anything to them, I would be an adult harassing a child. She has blamed me for that ever since. You get that part? A mom didn't intervene when her daughter said that she was being bullied because she was afraid that people will call her a bully. The times that we're living in nowadays. Guys, let us know what you think about that, by the way. She has blamed me for that ever since and and keeps referring to this one time where the kids at school called her trash due to the fact that she wasn't taking care of her hygiene due to depression. Part not all, of my response was telling her to take a shower and I bought her new clothes. 
The bullying finally ended with an expulsion and a suspension for the ringleaders. She still throws the fact that a school clinic volunteer told her that if she was their kid, she'd have permission to punch back in punch back if administrators didn't do anything. Yeah. But you aren't their kid. You weren't their kid. I thought that having her live with me while she finished school and get a job would help heal some childhood wounds if my second husband and I mo modeled a healthy relationship. However, my daughter now doesn't get along with my husband. She's a very introverted, creative person who likes immersing herself in escapism. So she'd get annoyed if she was sitting eating alone and my husband would sit across from her and eat, saying she ate later so she could eat alone. Maybe there was another reason why she didn't feel comfortable. However, my husband started acting distant from me and my daughter, complaining that his eyes lingered for too long. She got very angry, and there was a lot of shouting and slamming of doors. Finally, my husband admitted he's attracted to her, and it's hard to be around her all day. Said she was walking temptation, and said that, can you imagine that, KR? As a stepfather... You say to your wife that her daughter, your stepdaughter, is a walking temptation. Well, she's 23. And said that why... Think about and it, say that why... There are some dirty people out here, bro. Wait a minute. He's, what? He said that she, was walk, she, that she was a walking temptation and said that's why he was avoiding intimacy with me. So the husband was avoiding intimacy with the wife because the daughter, the, the his stepdaughter, her daughter, is a quote-unquote walking temptation. Yes. It's not that far-fetched, by the way. Okay, I want to hear your thoughts about that. So I gave my daughter money to stay at an extended stay hotel and asked her to utilize her college's, her college's emergency financial and housing resources they have for students in need. She responded by storming out and telling my ex, the father, who is now, uh, yeah, so the father, who's now using it on social media, is now bashing her on social media. <laughs> Can you, you, you go to, you go, you go with a problem and then someone, anyway. I'm not abandoning my daughter. She qualifies for those resources. Oh, toxic anyway, family, bro. I'm not abandoning my daughter. She qualifies for those resources anyway, since my ex is unemployed and we are in substantial debt. I just yeah. need time to process the situation. What a shit show. This is a full shit show, bro. This is a full shit show. Dad is unemployed. Mom <laughs> is getting uh, ab about to lose her husband to her, her daughter. That's, the daughter, oh my god, that's not they are in debt. Oh my god, that's not. Uh, I just need time to process the situation and don't want to leave my house to stay with my daughter when I have a marriage to figure out where or not, whether or not to save. Am I wrong? KR, is she wrong for leaving, not leaving, or not helping, or helping? Um, so the question is. Um, let me see. Uh, that's a good question. I just need time to process the situation. No, the fact that she placed her outside, so she paid for her to go stay somewhere else. Yes. I gave my daughter money She's to stay right. at an extended stay hotel and asked her to yes. utilize her college's fund. So yes. the question is whether that... Yes, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It doesn't, doesn't go in a way. Next, next phase is that she needs to move out. 23-year-old... Dad is out here. So so to go back to the part where you said, I said, it's not that far-fetched why he didn't yeah. find attraction. So you got to imagine, you have a woman who's 53 years old and her daughter is almost half that age. Walking around probably in booty shorts in, in the house. Uh, 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 yeah. The, the, the regular temptation is higher. So when he sees... The boot, the the, the twenty three year old with a booty shorts walking around, and his wife with um with the grandma pants walking around. I mean, that's a turn off. I think that's the reason why 
in his brain, it's a turn off. That's why it's not intimate. So it's not that complex to, to, to explain that. Not that I'm saying it's a good thing, but it's just human nature. It's just like um, if you look at, and this is, this is in general, I think they've done um, a lot of studies about this. Men usually stay uh, are in general, if you look at the 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 appearance of of um, women, men like they stay they stay usually no matter what age they are, it stays in the same age range. The the appearance. So when they see a picture, so the, no matter, the, the age stays so the no same throughout their. Yes. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you, but you're, what you're saying is, no matter how old they get, their preference remains the same. In general, the yes. Age, I'm not the talking about range. the age, age range, in general. The appearance and, of that age range. Yeah, the yes. appearance. Yeah, yes. that's yeah. That's why that's why the Botox and all those things. Yeah. Because I do imagine that at the certain. I mean, if you're looking for someone that. I mean, you can be 60 and you're looking for someone that can also contribute, you know, to a, a conversation and you want the input, you know, you, things like that. You, you, a 23-year-old, 24-year-old can do that. We're talking about procreation right here. We're not talking about relationship. Yes. What do you mean with, what do you mean with procreation? Procreate. Yeah, I know, but then I, I don't think the, I got the human. You. The human brain doesn't think about relationship. It thinks about procreating, creating kids. In that age range, there's still kids to be made. That's why when people get older, the 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 man. This is like the. So uh, the, 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 you're the, saying on a subconscious level. Yes. So this it's a study, I guess, or a philosophy. Yes. But on a subconscious so, level. It's a study. Men are attracted to younger women, or at least women between certain ages, um, because it registers as filled, um, fertile to them. Yes. Fertile. Yes. It's the same with women with wider hips and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Big, and, big bosoms. And, and... and did you also say something about the women? Because I was look, I zoned out a bit. I was looking at my phone, got a message. But are you also saying that women have that as well? So is that does does that also register when when a woman sees an older man that she thinks, oh, this man can provide for me? So on a subconscious level, even so, though the, so the person so is in homeless, general, in general, um, it, and it, we're going into details. We have to. Keep the the the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, time yeah, in yeah. mind, but but if you, if you look at women in general, who do they uh, tend to go to first? Aggressive in general. I'm talking about general aggressive guys that can protect uh, uh, um, whoever the family is in general. So you you just if you imagine. Let's say uh, the guy is well shaped, not not um, muscular. Let's say a warrior type, in a sense, they they flock to that more. So th there is not an age there, but more like a appearance, aggressive, um, um, muscular, which can help the woman, protect the woman and the kids. That's that's what you usually see. That's why. That's why. That's why a lot of these these hero movies have such well ma muscular men. It's also a part of of that playing into that. Other than also, it's it's good to see that the man. I mean, the hero men see also muscular men as a higher ranking man in yeah. general. It's just that's just nature. So it's like the subconsciously, warrior, yeah, the subconsciously. Although although someone can walk with a firearm for example and that doesn't matter that has nothing to do with no they uh, i mean muscular uh, okay. aggressive that's why that's why there is this this i mean uh, uh, 
you've heard about that theory about the Pookie, right? Pookie is aggressive. Yeah. Pookie is more bold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Direct. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. All right. No. So. Uh, but I think it's a good move by her. That's the only thing. Well, that. Uh, you gotta you gotta find ask yourself whether you want to stay in into a relationship in this situation, but yeah. I mean that's up to her. Yeah, you know how I feel about toxic situations. So <laughs> as soon as I see a red flag, I assume it's a communist and I start running. Continue. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of people agree that she did the right thing, that part, but a lot of people in the comments did say that they do not that they think that. She should do a better job as a mother protecting her her daughter. Uh, that he should leave the man. That mm. uh, you know that it's actually she she should say, okay, guy, you need to leave because this is my daughter, the daughter. Um, do you need to do that though? No, he shouldn't. It's it's. I mean, everyone has something to say when they're not in the situation. Um, I think she did a good thing. The the ad hoc decision was good because there's a problem you you, hey. you separate the problem uh, you, you at least you remove the Im the immediate problem but yes. some some yeah i think human beings are more complicated than that so but i think so maybe she who knows maybe she's she's been looking for a husband maybe the husband is like a very good guy in all other aspects it's just that part that's that's an issue and he also said listen this is not good she needs to be out the house if she comes over like a couple of times there's no problem but i don't know how she's walking around in the house I, you can't that's expect the thing. Me to. you can't yeah that's and the so thing. and so this. and a 23 year old person is an adult now she does have a i don't know what she has to what extent that can limit her in what she's doing but yeah it is a value it is a valid argument to say hey this is a marriage and you have a young woman walking around she's the daughter but it could have been let's say if it was the mate like a 23 year old mate walking around yeah it's let me ask you this because i think that's a it's it's a good question they well a remark they made should a wife who should the wife put first the husband or the kids who should the wife in a marriage first? a family there they are kids two kids uh, are you wife saying and like husband a... have been marriage who should so be number their, one in, with their in that situation? Should in the their... husband be first and then the kids, or the kids should be first then the husband? And the so, same same with the men and uh, so from the wife's perspective and from the male perspective. Uh, so, um. In this case, it's like a family, right? So not like stepfather, yes, like not, yeah. We, we, I'm, I'm, I don't if you ask me, if I ask, right? if you yeah, if you ask me, it's the <laughs> if you ask me, the spouses, the spouse comes first, and then the kids. So, and the kids. Why? Why? A, co a couple of reasons. Yes, um, there's only one reason that's most important. The, what are you gonna say? The kids leave and the spouse stays. Well, that, that's the old, that's the thing. <laughs> After the eighteen years old, they they leave the nest. Yeah, but a lot of people, a lot, especially mothers, don't think like that. When they have kids, they you 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 hear and read that yeah, they no, get. No, 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 no. It's like the kid becomes priority. It's I think yeah, it should because, be the spouse. because because I can ask, I can I can go deeper into that as well, but we don't have the time. There is, there is a, another there is show, a, another show. that's another show. That's another show. Um, but yeah, uh, let's, let's go to the next topic, man. Let's go to the next topic. Kendrick Lamar. Yes, Kendrick yes. Lamar's albums has been, um, surging. RJ. Yeah. Kendrick's are album, albums, albums have been surging, uh, after, 
He's been declared by public opinion as the winner of the beef with Drake. Before we proceed, guys, remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and follow us on our socials. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. KR. Yes, yes. Kendrick Lamar has broken yet another record of Drake's amid their lyrical battle with Not Like Us now surpassing string milestones previously, previously set by God's plan. It seems like a God's plan to remove Drake off the charts. But anyway, um, Drizzy uh, has been uh, removed a couple of times already uh, where um, from, from the charts. Uh, uh, I think it was the fastest, so this Not Like Us track is the fa fastest hip-hop song in history to reach 100 million streams on Spotify. It also, um, it was not the only uh, um, song that reached great um, um, numbers because Euphoria, actually all four songs, Not Like Us, Euphoria, like that and family matters have all been into the charts so it's it's good business for mainly mainly uh kendrick because the numbers are on his side right now at the end of the day don't forget drake is still the pop star so he's gonna make those numbers whatever he drops next he's gonna he's gonna do well and one thing i've seen as well is that Albums such as um, Good Kid, Mad City, them have all returned into the uh, top 100, top 200 Billboard charts, where you have Good Kid, Mad City is currently at number 23. Them, um, sits at number 18 up from number 41 the week before. So the pimp, the, the pimp and Butterfly also went to one, uh, number 109. And Mr. Morale went from 192 to 55. So, hey, this is very, very lucrative. It's been a lucrative battle for uh, Kendrick, RJ. Yeah, definitely has, seemingly. And again, we did the a breakdown of the strategy that Kendrick applied. Yeah. Because it wasn't like, I'm going to diss you, and you're going to diss me, and I'm going to diss you. It was clear that he had like an, an attack strategy. Yeah. And you also broke down certain principles of the art of the art of war by Sun Tzu, like that, like very great book. Yeah. How Kendrick applied certain tactics that are being mentioned, not saying that K Kendrick used the art of war to, to, so that to, when he was devising a strategy, but what you're saying is what your principles, your, your, yeah, your stance was, Looking at what Kendrick said, did and what led to him winning, you 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 analyze what led to him winning and applied it to the principles of the art of war. So yeah. it's a very it's a very it's very great for Kendrick. I usually don't like beefs. I don't. I mean, if there's a beef, I don't care. But this one was a very entertaining one. And I think the way that Kendrick ended it, well, he ended it and Drake ended it. So yeah, yeah. And uh, with, with the with the last with the last one. But that that song is gonna be the all gonna the, be a summer hit. Uh, it's gonna be a summer hit, man. All the festivals are gonna play it. They've been playing it even at weddings now. No, in churches. Well, no, uh, churches. the church, the church tradition was a bit different. So they played it, and then the guy started saying, "They're not like us." Then uh, I don't have it right here, and I won't play it either because I don't <laughs> want to get any strike. I don't know if the, the the church put put a copyright on it, 
but he was performing the not like us and even the uh, uh, at a wedding they were playing the not like us um and the and the the people were dancing to it so and this is what drake dropped after it all good time summer vibes up next with the army behind is it is he saying that he's gonna come back the final samurai the lonely samurai Who's or is he saying it this is over he's still alluding that it's 20 versus one but it's been one versus one for a long time now the only thing is he's he's still seeing ghost of the other rappers nobody cares about rick ross this even though rick ross had the one of the best this in this whole most thing. entertaining Na yeah. most entertaining one but nobody cares about uh 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 rick ross or future or or able yeah. hey, can you they pull up that graphic again of course i can i have a question which one is is drake supposed to be the one with this the, one. yeah the one well, that's staring at the rest of the people i guess this one is yeah drake. all right yes yeah it's 20 one versus one so. okay. well it's a legion versus him KR? and his co-writers kr samurais lived in japan and we all knew we all know that the code was to oh, he's gonna say, the code he's was to he's going there. to never <laughs> never 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 surrender so, get um, humiliated I, never get humiliated by a by a different uh 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 by an opponent. You, uh, opponent, yeah, whatever, yeah. By an op, a clan, different clan. A clan, yes, clan. That's what I was looking for. Never get humiliated by the clan. So is this the end of Drizzy? Is he saying that he's gonna do the Diddy? Well, Diddy didn't do it yet, but we'll he'll probably do it in the future. Summer vibes up, man. Summer vibes. So there's a lot of things happening. Uh, uh, um, Academics said that he uh, suggested that Drake had lied about giving Kendrick information because one thing that is still happening and, 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 and one thing that is still ongoing is that guy, we covered it last week, the hip-hop Riddler. The hip-hop Riddler is still alive and he's still suggesting that he has video, even though the two subjects, or one of the, the, the subject that um, this video is about, which is a, a um, disabled man in a wheelchair, debunked this, the situation where he said, I wasn't assaulted by Drake. I wasn't beat up by Drake. The Riddler is still stating that he will drop. My bad. Sorry. He will drop on Monday. He will drop on Monday. That's what he's suggesting. At noon, he said, right? Was it noon? Not sure. Yeah, here it is. You have until Monday noon to answer, at which time I will post a snippet of you being escorted out of the building. Hopefully it it is at least five minutes past the time in the short clip I've already released since you were up in the suite listening to beats, right? That's what he's suggesting. He's still playing the Riddler. No one knows what this guy has. He's been he's been playing around saying that he has info, he has footage. He hasn't shown nothing yet. RJ. 
Yeah, it's going to be interesting because he, he's gaining a lot of traction. And some people just like attention. That can be the case. Or maybe he does have something. The question is, if he has some... <laughs> what? Oh, come on, man. Oscar Mayer also chimed in, <laughs> man. <laughs> like, I'm not, not going to distract you. Continue, please. You already did. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, time will tell. There is a deadline, so now his credibility is on the line, right? Either he comes through and drops the evidence that he, ha he says he has, or he doesn't come through, in which case he'll lose all credibility. And no one cares in that case yeah. after. It's a, it's a tough question, situation, uh, 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 though, because... What I also ask myself, Kara, is why, why is he doing this? You know? So it's probably... So his his, his story is his story is as follows. He was because feeding it, Kendrick yeah. information. Okay. And then they said uh, both about uh, they they were going to pay him for this information and and for this uh, 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 for these items. But then um, Kendrick uh, not Kendrick academics and Drake said that those things were stolen. And that deal was off. So I don't know how much he was going to sell those items for, but he's saying that that uh, claim that it was stolen broke the deal. So he's now sitting minus maybe 50000 20000 I have no idea, but yeah, he's not going to get the money anymore. So he might as well crash out. Gotcha. Gotcha. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Uh, let me see if there are any other things we want to discuss about. One last thing, and that, this is the thing um, about what Drake's, uh, what X said about Drake. I'm not going to show the video, only the audio. Hey, I'm going to just keep it a being with you, bro. Fair bro, use. You my, you my goat. You my favorite artist. But, bro, you got to stop the fuck nigga behavior, bro. Why are you so fucking niggas bitches, bro? Like, bro, like, you know niggas don't hate you for life off of that shit. Why the hell is you over here trying to still fuck these niggas bitches? Yo, the weekend, from what I've heard, he don't, like, they had a little tip for tat, like, but nigga, I heard that nigga hate Drake because Drake tried to fuck or either fucked his girl, bro. Like, Drake, like, you're foul for that. Why are you doing this? I'm listening to this nigga sing on this album, bro. Like, this nigga, like, clearly, he's still mad. A lot of Drake. Even as much as I defend you, you got you, you're a serial fucked up nigga, man. Wayne got locked up. You fucked his girl. Drama paid you for a feature. You fucked his girl. Yo, what's up with you, bro? What the fuck is going on with Drake, bro? Yo, Drake, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. Like, nigga, you're Drake. Of course you're gonna be able to fuck any girl. But what is coming across like you don't got no goddamn morals. You don't got no integrity. How is Everybody knowing you for fucking all, everybody's girl. Why do you have so much beef, my brother? The weekend done dissed you. ASAP Rocky done dissed you. Yo, it's unnatural that so many people hate one guy. <laughs> if he ain't doing it. Yo, yeah. Drake. What do you think about this? Hey, you go around sleeping with women of other people or these women that these people desire or associate with and you do it long enough you're gonna it, it's it's bound to happen if you if you and i have an if so if i have an ex you have an ex we go talk to each other and i said nah man yeah you know this person drake slept with my with my ex after we work together, and you say, Dre slept with your ex? He slept with mine too. Drake did that, yeah. And it's backhanded because I made sure that he got that collaboration with, so that col a collab with fill in blank. Of course, man. And you tell that story, the KR, at this point, they might have a WhatsApp group. Who knows? <laughs> well, he's lucky he didn't. Uh... Screw the wrong person's wife because some people get deleted over that. 
whether you are a well-known man or not, they will put you to sleep. Mm -hmm. And then sing a song about you. Kumbaya, kumbaye. Hey, it's, 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 let's... it's probably going to be a corrido. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go to the short thoughts. Let's go to the short thoughts. Real mm -hmm. quick, uh, here are the short thoughts. We usually talk about topics. We give, give kind of a short thought about topics that are commonplace situations or trending news. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Read the show by pressing the like button. And don't forget to check us out on our socials as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go to the first Short topic. Fans share safety fears for daughter and son. Go ahead and ask yourself. I'm going to share this video real quick. And you tell me what you think about this situation. Okay. Oh, man. Where's my mouse? Let Fans share safety fears for daughter and son after this. Okay. Let me go back. See, see, what do you, what do you notice? What do you notice about the... Wait, I need to make this. Can you show it one more time? That's fair use. I'm going to start here I'm... again. Okay. What do you notice about the kids being strapped in? How the kids are being strapped in? With the, with, with the <laughs> seat belt. <laughs> They'll just slip out of him. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> You fair use, fair use. I'm saying that again. So, it's, so you can like, clearly see. It's, it's like when you're riding in a in a car, and you don't you it's, it, when you put your laptop in the back and you don't want it to fall. They just strap a. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't tell you whose kids these are. No, because I, I was gonna ask because the caption reads. Fans. So, whose fans are they? Fans. Fans can, of can, Paris can Hilton. I guess? Oh, oh, okay. I wouldn't have guessed it, but I'm not <laughs> surprised either. It. That's why I said it. You wouldn't have guessed it. So, so fans uh, quickly flooded you, the comments it, with concerns about the car seats, where uh, how the car seats were installed. Nothing uh, that the infant or toddler were sitting uh, in a forward-facing seats. In fact, Phoenix sat in a, a Donna, a stroller car hybrid, which is intended for rear ward facing only. Not only that, please hire someone. <laughs> this is what someone said. Please hire someone to install car seats. These kids are, if, if anything happens, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to zoom in. I have, a, I have a frame. Look at this. Look at how she strapped these kids in, bro. Look at how she strapped these kids in. RIP to these kids. Is there any, if come anything on, else? no, come on, come on, man. Come on. They're going to slip out of this stuff, man. What are you talking about? I don't, I'm not wishing it on anyone, but look at this. But you know what the thing is, Scare? I don't think that she's the first person who did this. No, it's not the first. She's the one, first one to record it and share it with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, it's not the safest one. It's not the safest way to do it. But um, I think more people, I think more people have done it in the past. Let me put it like that. Or yeah. are doing it now, knowingly or unknowingly. Hey, man, it is what it is. It is what it Can is. You imagine the belt? The Can you imagine the belt? Oh, man, never mind. Yo. Let's let's not go there. You you try to make me look crazy. Then you go you go up it. Let's just get strangled in the in the, in the car seat. Come on, man. Oh, man. oh my god. Hey people. Hey pe people. Uh, anyway, let's let's uh, let's not go there. Let's not go there. The second topic. Tyrese ends the show mid set <laughs> to avoid being served. I saw that. That's a crazy act. I'm not gonna play it because he he's by the way, he's singing on, on a track, so it's just even crazier. I didn't know he sings on tracks. Um uh, you would you would think he doesn't sing on tracks, but uh but he, he was doing an a a what do you a, mean with singing on tracks, by the way? Do you mean lip syncing or 
No, well, you usually you can you can you can sing on top of a pre-recorded track. So basically, you play the song, the MP3, mm -hmm. yeah. and you and you and you basically rap or sing on top of what is being sung uh, at the background. And why did you instrumental? So is it an instrumental or not? No, it's not an instrumental. It's a track. Oh. Oh, so it's the track with the voice with the in the background? It was it was a track with a voice. That's what I heard. Oh, that, that's okay. what that's why I said I'm not gonna play this during the show because uh, otherwise yeah, yeah. We, we, this is not Kendrick. This is a guy who, who needs the body because his <laughs> baby mom is trying to rip him off. And he's been crying since that the, the, that divorce happened. So I'm yeah. not gonna give him any dime. Tyrese I wish probably him all got, the luck though. Yeah. Tyrese is the one who probably got um, his baby mom at the gig on country way. Country is plus. It's not your country. <laughs> country, country, can you help me? And she still tried to rip him off a uh, hot 100,000 a year. Hey, good luck to him. But he was doing a, a uh, performing, he was performing in Georgia when, um, when his security guard notified him about, um, someone being at the venue because he's he's now in a someone is trying to serve him and that person he's he's facing a a 10 million dollar defamation uh, lawsuit from Brian Barber uh who accuses Tyrese of attacking his character and reputation in an interview on the Breakfast Club that's why people go on Breakfast Club and start motor mounting talking too much you got to be very yeah. careful what you say yeah uh, according to Barber uh Tyrese falsely stated that the director kept footage from the recorded interview with Charlemagne the God. Instead, Barber alleges that a singer asked him to hold the footage to protect his reputation. So people go off and talk crazy stuff. Yeah. Um, and the, uh, uh, by the way, the, uh, the director also argues that uh, Tyrese refuses to adhere to the previous 50-50 revenue split that he and uh, Barber previously negotiated for the interview yeah so yeah i know i know someone who has a crazier um ducking story than tyrese gary owen, <laughs> this, gary sounds, owen. this sounds like the gary owen story i don't know gary <laughs> owen story they were trying to crazy, serve each other but, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, they were that's trying crazy to, man and the, the challenge was who's gonna serve who first who yeah who's gonna first whom first nah man hey good luck good luck to to him good luck to the you'll wife. need it especially good luck you'll need <laughs> you'll need that luck because the guy <laughs> has been uh, getting get, it's like it's like you know when you're in a in a when, when you're in a, a boxing match right you get you get clubbed over the head thousand times. He's been been clubbed for years now, and he still doesn't change his ways. This is like this is like I think Einstein said. Um, Stup you can stupid stupidity is doing the same thing yes. over and over again and expecting a different outcome. result. Yeah, yeah, result outcome. Something like that. Yes, it's a paraphrase. That hey guys, yeah. No, that's 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 the lesson for today. Yes. Hey, for those of you who've made it this far, thanks. Of course, we really appreciate your dedication to the show. Whatever your thoughts are, please let us know down below. Rate the show by pressing the like button. Follow us on our socials. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out when we drop new videos. Let's have a healthy conversation in the comment section. And until next time, peace. Peace. I'm coming out. That's at least that's the song Daddy will be singing. Yeah, and 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 I'm not home is what Tyrese was saying. <laughs> <laughs>